as someone who has like got sober like almost a decade ago it, it's just like like I I wit the way that we are discarded if we are addicted and POC and are not are told that we don't have a voice we don't have a purpose and we don't have a life we don't have a meaning It's heartbreaking to even now have to think about like, how am I living my life now so that if I am murdered by the state, when they do stuff, they'll show certain things, you know, like, what will they like, will will I make it to trial if I live a good enough life? Or is it because I'm a woman, I wouldn't even get one in like a Breonna Taylor way. You can't even rationalize with it. It's insane. It's and it's how how are we talking about that reality that that is the same reality that we've been experiencing for fucking hundreds of years you know and that hasn't changed in 2021 you know and we still have a question about whether it's even important to do stuff you know like we still have people who are like i don't know man like i i don't know like i i feel fine with with, with all these people being murdered by the police why would i change any part of this I need to be able to call the police whenever I want to weaponize them against poor people or people of color. <laughs> like, and that's the thing. Like, it's it's the police have always been a weapon. They have always yeah. been a means of intimidating people into leaving or doing stuff. And that's what we've called like rule of law. It's not that. It's fucking not. And it's exhausting. You know, it's exhausting to like between like shooting upon shooting upon just like the regular just like mass shootings you know like having police officers minimize when it's a white criminal and then exponentially change that narrative when it's a person of color you know like you know looking at that gun violence and knowing fundamentally that if all of these mass shooters were people of color this would be a very different conversation and it is, it's always a different conversation because they always pull, they're always like, look at Chicago, you know? And it's, yeah. <sighs> I'm just exhausted by it. This kind of feels emotionally like a give up point. And I know that this is a fucking marathon and not a sprint. And that there's going to be a lot of pain before we start to really move this dial forward um it is exhausting though and it is hard to protect you know your energy 